Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most lawnmower repairs will require some disassembly of the product. Before you attempt this, make sure the mower's engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Close the fuel valve as well. We also recommend emptying the fuel tank and draining the oil. When removing the front wheels, first note the position of the wheel adjuster arms. Now lift up the front of the mower and support it. Use a 12 mm socket to unthread the bolt securing a front wheel. Detach the wheel and use a 12 mm wrench and a T40 Torx bit to remove the nut and bolt securing the wheel adjuster assembly. Remove the assembly. Repeat this procedure to remove the wheel and wheel adjuster assembly on the opposite side so you can remove the front grass baffle. Use a flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tabs to help release the baffle. Replace the front grass baffle by making sure the middle hole is at the top, then snap the baffle into place on the frame. When replacing a wheel adjuster assembly, confirm that the adjuster arm is placed on the bolt with the tab facing up, followed by the wheel support with the nut facing up. Slide on the spacer. Now reposition the adjustment plate with the tabs facing up. Hold the assembly together as you insert the bolt and plate tabs into the frame. Slide on the washer, then thread the nut and tighten. Repeat for the opposite side. Reinstall the front wheels by making sure the wave washers are intact on the mounting bolts with the curved edge facing down. Then insert the bolts through the wheel and into the support. Tighten the bolts to secure the wheels. Make sure both wheel adjuster arms are set to the correct position. To remove the blades, carefully tip the mower on its side with the fuel tank facing up. Support the blades and use a 14 mm socket to unthread the mounting bolts. You can now remove the blades. To reach the drive pulley, support the blade adapter and unthread the adapter mounting bolt. You can use a rubber mallet to help remove the adapter. Remove the woodruff key and you can uninstall the drive pulley by pulling it away from the guard, then unhook the belt and slide the pulley off of the shaft. Replace the drive pulley by aligning it on the shaft. Loop the belt on the pulley and push the pulley into the guard. Before you reinstall the blade adapter, insert the woodruff key into the drive shaft. 
Now align the adapter on the shaft and slide it into place. Thread and tighten the mounting bolt. Use a torque wrench to torque the bolt to 40 foot-pounds. Confirm that the washers are still in place on the mounting bolts with the cupped edge facing up. Align the upper blade and the lower main blade together. Insert the bolts, then position the assembly on the adapter. Thread the bolts and torque the bolts to 40 foot-pounds to secure. Return the mower to its upright position. To fully disassemble the clutch lever assembly, Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the assembly. Detach the assembly. Note the orientation of the upper and lower twist actuators. Then use a flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tabs to separate the actuators. Remove the actuator pin and unthread the screws, securing the upper and lower grips. Detach the upper grip and rotate the lower grip to release it from the clutch cable. Reassemble the clutch lever assembly by first aligning the clutch cable eyelet in the lower grip. Now position the lower grip in the slot in the handle. Realign the upper grip and replace the screws to secure. To loosen the clutch cable, use a screwdriver to increase the tension on the transmission spring. Now insert the actuator pin into the eyelet of the cable. Reposition the upper and lower twist actuators, making sure the pin is properly aligned in the grooves. Then snap the two pieces together. You can now release the tension on the transmission spring. Align the clutch arm cover over the grip assembly and reposition the select lever and spring in the cover. Reposition the clutch lever and thread the screws to secure the assembly. To remove the rear wheels and gear assemblies, lift up the rear of the mower and support it. Use a 12 mm socket to unthread the bolts securing the rear wheels and remove the wheels. Use snap ring pliers to remove the snap rings securing the pinion gears. Remove the washers and note the orientation of the pinion gears, then slide off the gears. Remove the dust covers and slide off the small spacer washers. Release the snap rings securing the large spacer washers 
and remove them along with the flat washers. If needed, you can now uninstall the transmission. Carefully tip the mower on its left side. Release the large snap ring securing the right side wheel support assembly and slide off the assembly. Use a 10 mm socket to unthread the bolts securing the shroud. Note that some of the bolts are threaded into retaining nuts. You will need to lift and secure the deflector to access the bolts in the rear. The upper rear bolt requires a T40 Torx bit to remove. With the bolts removed, detach the shroud. Next, use pliers to detach the clutch cable from the bracket and unhook the cable from the transmission. Detach the transmission spring from the bracket. Next, use the 10 mm socket to unthread the bolts, securing the engine belt guard. Remove the guard. Now lift the transmission up to remove the axle from the frame and slide off the washer and snap ring. You can now slide the belt around the blades to fully remove the transmission assembly. Before you reinstall or replace the transmission, make sure the ratchet return springs are intact in the axle. Now loop the belt around the blades and onto the engine pulley. Place the snap ring and washer on the axle, then position the axle in the holes in the frame. Attach one end of the spring to the transmission and the other end to the bracket. Hook the clutch cable on the transmission and secure it in the bracket. Reposition the engine belt guard and thread the bolts to secure. Position the wheel support assembly on the axle with the adjuster arm disengaged from the plate. Slide the washer up and secure the large snap ring. Return the adjuster arm to the desired position. Continue the reassembly by replacing the shroud, making sure the shutter door pin snaps into it. Replace all of the bolts and retaining nuts, if applicable, to secure the shroud. Release the rear deflector. Return the mower to its upright position and support it. Make sure the axle is fully extended through the supports. Slide on the large spacer washers followed by the flat washers. Replace the snap rings 
and slide on the small spacer washers. Replace the dust covers. Confirm that the ratchet return springs are still intact in the axle, then insert the ratchet keys. Hold the keys in place as you properly align the pinion gears. Slide on the washers and secure the assemblies with the snap rings. Reinsert a mounting bolt through a wheel and slide on the wave washer with the curved edge facing outward, followed by the flat washer. Position the dust cover, align the wheel assembly, then thread and tighten the mounting bolt to secure. Repeat for the opposite side. With the reassembly completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug. Open the fuel valve, refill the fuel tank, replace the oil, and your lawnmower should be ready for use.